Hey everybody, it's Rhino and Steve and we are here at Disney Springs as you can see behind us. It's a nice day outside. We're roaming around and Steve's hungry. I forgot my sunglasses again. I feel like this is becoming a thing. He always, anytime we're doing a video during the daytime, no sunglasses. He wears them all the time at night, like the song says, but just never during the day. So um, I think we are going to try out Morimoto's quick service location that he didn't even know existed. I, yeah, I, I feel like an amateur because I don't know, I must have just passed by it every single time. Have you eaten here at all? Here I here? have, yeah. I've had dinner here, but I haven't. I, I had dinner with uh, Eli for our anniversary recently and, and I loved it. So um, I'm really curious to see how the quick service kind of holds up to that dinner. Um, and what they have. I'm hoping maybe some ramen because uh, as people know I'm on a ramen kick and I love ramen um, But if not, I'm sure there'll be other stuff because everything I ate here was absolutely delicious So let's just hope the quick service holds up the yeah. same way I'm really hoping it's gonna be great because the you know I like finding like good cheap alternatives for people like yeah, you know like you know We don't really have the budget to go to Morimoto's, but we do no. want to try it. Yeah, so like Hopefully this is good so we can recommend it. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. And it's it's fun fact, it's inside of the old Mannequins nightclub. They don't have the rotating dance floor anymore anymore. I, I checked. I double checked. But I, I spent many a many an evening here in the day, so I think it's cleaned up a little bit. So let's go and try that uh, that food. So our first look at the menu here, no rum. But uh, there's Bao on here, Bao Tacos, and I am obsessed with Bao at the moment. There's a couple of places that have recently popped up and opened in Orlando. I didn't even know it was a thing until Food & Wine. Yeah, because if you don't know what it is, it's, it, that's what I tried to compare it to for Steve, is that at Food & Wine in the China Pavilion, they have a little, like, a fluffy duck taco. And that the Bao is the bread. And um, it's just oh, it's super good and yummy. And so I'm hoping, this is Chef Morimoto, so this one's got to be like super I, good. I'm excited for the chicken teriyaki. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the pork bao. Um, but the prices are pretty good. So for two, it's $8 for each of the ones we said. And then there's a, uh, a kalbi bao, which is $10. Um, Still not bad. No, I mean, no, no. For Disney prices, that's actually pretty affordable. Yeah, so it's, we're going to go in here and we're going to see, we're going to see how it, you know, portion size and all that. All that jazz that you love to hear about. So let's go. Okay, so what did you end up getting, Steve? I think you said teriyaki chicken bao. Teriyaki chicken bao. How much was it? Eight dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm not blown away, but it is good. The sauce is tangy, which is nice. And there's like cucumber in there. Um, the chicken's really tender and good. Um, so there's nothing bad about it. And I would recommend, you know, if you're gonna come here, that it's not a bad option. I, I do, I am enjoying it. I'm just not blown away like I am when I'm in like Morimoto's for dinner. Which, I mean, that makes sense. You are paying for what you get. I mean, this is, like I said, only $8. So, you know, you're paying for what you get. For, for $8, it's probably, I think it's worth it, especially if you're just looking for a quick snack, bite to eat, then I think it's a good choice. Um, but nothing amazing. No, nothing that I would say it's worth skipping Morimoto's for dinner. Mine's really good. So I got the, um, the pork bao, which I feel like is in my teeth right now, so I apologize, but it's spicy mayo, cucumber, lettuce, and the bao bun here. Um, I like anything with spicy mayo on it, um, and this is pretty good. Um, they have little packets of sriracha, um, sriracha chili sauce. I might dip a little bit of this on here because I like things with the heat, but I am pleasantly su surprised, especially after Steve's review of his bao. So, 
Mine's good. I like it a lot. But to get to wash it all down with here, I got a South Seas slush. The girl at the counter, she highly recommended it. Um, it is black tea and lemonade, guava mango, pineapple, and ginger. And it is just this explosion of flavor. And since there's tea in it, I for some reason believe I'm being healthier by drinking what I'm sure is calorie ridden slush. But just, just to clarify, I thought mine was good. But do you think it's worth skipping the dinner No, I would, never, I would never skip Morimoto just to be like, oh, I have Morimoto, I tried the street food. No, this is like Morimoto light. This is you've been to Morimoto and you really want to try. You're like, oh, I really want something, but I don't want to go through the whole process of sitting down and getting a meal. You can do this. But also, fun fact, you can go in and sit at the bar in there and it's a full menu in there too. So if you do see something on the menu that you really like, they don't have it out here, you can just hop in there. But I really like the vibe of it out here. It's it's nice. I like that we're right by the water over here. Um, right now, it's not crowded at all. It's relaxing. I'm gonna recommend it right now, but let me finish the rest of this before it gets cold. Okay, we're done. We're dining. I realized I didn't say how much my tea cost in the last one. Um, this was six dollars, a little on the pricier side. It is delicious. I think you can share it though. It's a lot for one person. It's very you sweet. Were, you were getting brain freeze a lot. Yeah. I just got uh, a soda. Um. So overall thoughts, Steve? Overall, I think I was a little too critical when I was eating my food because I, I think it was good, and I think it was a good value for eight, for eight dollars. I just I wasn't like. Here, it's not my new favorite place. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's for I think it's really good for a quick stop if you're looking for something light that's not gonna make you like too heavy. You know what yeah. I mean? It is a little like this plus the bow was a little much, but eight dollars for the two bow, that's four dollars a bow. That's actually not too bad of a price. My bun, the second bun I have was a little soggy on the bottom. I don't know if it's because the meat was a little fatty, but um the bow, the actual bread bow, like it it's not the best I've ever had. And that could just be a matter of like the one that you had. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Like, it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was bad at all, but I have had some, like, really, really good stuff. It wasn't like, bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this guy killing it today. Um, but I would I would definitely recommend this as, like, you're here, you, maybe you're having dinner later here, and you want just something, like, to tide you over for a little bit. This would cool. be a nice, like, good stop, share, share a bow with somebody. And sometimes, like, I just, like, quick uh, meals sometimes. Have you like, saying bow wow? Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, okay. Uh, sometimes I just like really quick, like get in, get out, you Yeah. Know? And it's, it, this is really one of the only like true quick service Yeah, places. that's a good point. Like, yeah, there's deluxe burger, but there's usually like, a long line. A long line, like, you gotta go in, it's a process it's, to get it. Yeah. Then you, that's not really a walk and you walk, they, yeah. they, they give this to you in a little box as you saw in the video. You um, can walk in, yeah, you can yeah. kind of eat as you go. It's, it's got a, uh, like the, the um, the like toothpicks through it and um yeah it's, it's very mobile it is truly a quick service ah, this guy today um yeah i i and i you know they've got they've got other things they've got some sushi um there was the bow there's a, a lo mein i believe the ribs you can get the ribs from the inside but I would probably still recommend going inside to get those. However, if you've been to Morimoto and you've had those ribs, you know that once you've had them, it's something that will never leave your system. So you're like always going to be craving it. Um, so it might be a good place to be like, oh, I just really, I just want the ribs. So you, you can pop in outside here and just grab them here. Um, I'm, I'm happy that I know this exists now because yeah. I will be back. Yeah, I feel really content. Like I know Eli would like this. Like yeah. he would probably like to like stop here or whatever. But it just it just goes to show you like there's a the, I like the all the additions that have been coming to Disney Springs and this is another a great one. I know it's been here for a while and we just never talked about it. But um, but yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a fan. I uh, yeah. I want to try some other stuff and see what else I like on it. Yeah. I mean, it's not a huge menu, but you know, I do want to try the other but, stuff. But there's stuff they have a they so they have beer and wine like um, almost all the places do now. But um, what I really enjoy is it's like it's you know it's Asian choices, you know, and it, it looks like it rotates too because they have seasonal stuff. They said so. Um, but yeah, overall compared to pricing inside, I actually think it's really decent pricing. Oh yeah. Atmosphere is good. It's in a good location. I, I mean, this is like the signature building at Disney. I mean, really, for Disney pricing and comparing it to, like you said, comparing it to inside, this is like a val I think it's a yeah. true value considering, I, you know, most Disney quick services, you know, by the time you get everything, it's going to be 15, 16 bucks. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, I agree completely. 
So. Um, but if you've been before, I'm curious, have you had the, the street food? Have you, have you been out here? Have you been inside? What are your thoughts? Um, where do you want us to, where do you want to see us go next? You know, we'd love, we'd love a list. Um, let us know in the comments and we will, uh, we'll see you later.